All right, everybody, welcome to NJ Kelly Gardner family. It is right now as we speak early morning and it's already in the high 90s. I want to show you guys an update on our garlic uh, as it has been in the container for a week and also our moringa tree. So let's just take a look quickly. These are the fruit trees we're walking past and the watermelon area however down here in this lovely container our shoots thus far have sprouted up garlic cloves have sprouted up and as you can see we planted several um not everything came up as of yet but this is what we have one two uh three four five six seven Right there, it's eight, and over below, it's like 10, not a 10, okay? So that's our garlic, and that is from the grocery store, y'all. Not organic at all whatsoever. Um, keep walking over here. Say hello to the zinnias. Doing pretty, pretty good. Cut, come again, variety. So down over in this area, we have our moringa, Oliveira and grown in a 15 gallon container from seed in the nursery container. And as you can see, guys, check it out. Look how tall it has gotten. After a couple of prunes, it is in the, this is the first year basically since we started growing Moringa in 2000 and I believe it was uh, 18 where it has gotten this tall. And guys, for what I have learned from other growers and um, such as Arizona, from, from Greeny's Garden who gave us the seeds on our own, um, he has a YouTube, him and his wife has a YouTube channel. And then also developed awesome skills from Arizona. Jake Mace, who was living in Arizona and now lives in Canada off grid. These are just a couple of people who I, who I listen to about Moringa and there's other individuals. But from what I learned from a developer of some skills, this is what he said to us. He said, grow as much Moringa as you can in one contained area and see how they compete with one another. Basically, this is the truth. All you need is at least three or four when it grown like in a raised bed style or container like this or even in your in the ground is something about their um biology with the seed that they love to compete because i remember since 2018 i would just plant one seed and put one in one this one seed in one container and it would do absolutely nothing i am a witness that if you plant multiple seeds and a contained area like this or even in the ground this is what you're going to get and you can see that the development of the bark hardening off as you go down okay as we go up we'll see the new growth and as you can see here it is it has to be almost six feet tall going to six feet now moringa here in the Central Valley, Zone 9B, is considered an annual, not really a perennial. And so with that, even if it's in the ground, it's, they say to cut it back. It will not keep a canopy, such as like this tree up here, all right, with leaves and whatnot, or especially the redwood tree over here, all right? So because it's like an annual, you can cut it back and it will grow new leaves, uh, new branches, once it gets up into the 80s or i believe higher like in the 90s and if you have it in container like i do you could just place it in a garage or against the wall and make it like a warm greenhouse um make sure greenhouse okay this is nj Kelly garner just wanted to give you an update on our garlic and moringa tree again thank you to every new subscriber who subscribed to our channel you have made you are now considered family and also please 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 hit the like button hit the share button and comment below what you're growing in your garden slash orchard peace until we meet again